Amen. Hallelujah. Welcome, my dear friends, to this brief reflection on the team spending quality time with the Lord. When I was in the monastery, one of the things I learned was how to spend quality time every day with the Lord. What we call solitude. What we call solitude. And if you read Matthew Gospel chapter 14, verse 22 and 23, he said, And at once he made the disciple get into the boat and go on ahead to the other side while he sent the crowd away. After sending the crowd away, he went up into the hills by himself to pray. When evening came, he was there alone. My dear friends, you need to spend this quality time in meditation with the Lord, what we call Lexio Divina, where you can read the Word of God, you meditate upon it, and allow Christ to speak to you. It's good for you to spend this time irrespective of your busy schedule. You may be a worker, you may be a businessman, you may be a trader. We know times are hard. People are always busy. But you must spend quality time in meditation. If you are close to a church where there is a chapel, walk into the chapel once in a while and spend quiet time. If you want to do it in your room and you have a convenient place in your room, fine and good. If you want to do it inside your house, maybe in a particular place, or in your environment, around your surrounding, you know, at the garden, at the orchard, it is good to spend time talking to God in your heart and allow God to talk to you. Imagine he went into the hills. The disciples were not sinners. They were his disciples, but he drove them. Or in other words, he asked them to leave him. He dismissed the crowd. He sent the disciples ahead of him in the boat. And he went and spent quality time with his father in prayer, in meditation. So you need to spend this time not just coming to church. It's a good thing. Not just going to fellowship is a good thing. Not just going to different gatherings is a good thing. But you need to also spend quality time with Christ. If you do it, your life will not be the same again. There is something in your life that will be happening to you that will be different because it is an opportunity for you to encounter Christ one-on-one. -on -one. I'm talking from experience. That's what the monks do in the monastery. They spend most time in silence because God speaks to us when we are quiet, when we are silent. When we pray and shout, it's good, but God cannot speak to you at that time. At that time, you are speaking to God. No wonder. The great man Eli said to Samuel, his boy, when he calls you again, say, Speak, Lord, your servant is listening. Speak, Lord, your servant is listening. Sometimes you just have to sit down and listen to God. Not you talking to God. Because we have changed it this day by telling God, Listen, Lord, your servant is speaking. But sometimes you have to be still. Psalm 46 verse 10 says, Be still and know that I am God. So this stillness that even the great man himself, Elijah, encountered when God spoke to him at Mount Horeb, the mountain of the Lord. He didn't come in winds. He didn't come in earthquake. It was in that still little voice. Sometimes you need that quiet moment. It helps you to reflect. It helps you to think. It helps you to you know, feel the presence of God in your life. I pray that God will bless you. Let us pray. Almighty God and Father, as your children listen to these words this day, help them to be able to create time, a time of meditation, a time of reflection, a time of quietness with you, their creator. And as they spend this time, Lord, may you minister to them. May you meet them in the point of their needs. May you touch, may you visit them and let this meditation be fruitful. May they never find distraction, but may they be focused so that your blessings shall rest upon them through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may the blessings of the Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you which you remain both now and forevermore. Amen. Thank you for watching this video. I believe you are blessed. 
don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. For more motivational and spiritual messages, visit www.fathatomosonabedailydigest.com.